Hi guys and welcome to a new Guild Wars 2 video. So today I'm going to talk about magic find, XP and reward track boosters. Just a little thing to help you maximise um, the stuff that you're going to be getting whilst you're playing. Uh, some of which is going to be really easy to acquire, some might cost you a little bit of gold, some might cost you gems, but I'm going to go through exactly what I use um, in order to you know, just get that a little bit extra out of every minute I'm playing. Um, so I'm going to look here in my bags and the two things I use the most are peppermint omnum berry bars, which are here. Uh, they are fairly cheap. In fact, they're probably the cheapest foods that you can buy um, that give you such a good uh, magic find uh, and also other bonuses uh, on top of that. Uh, these guys only drop during winter's day so the price does kind of get more but uh, over the course of the year but then when winter's day comes around you can buy more they're really cheap really hard to get really easy to get hold of so that's peppermint omnum berry bars gives you plus 30 percent magic find plus 40 percent gold from monsters 10 percent experience from kills and 10 percent karma really really good food to farm with uh, I'd also use another holiday food, uh, which is sharpening skulls. These guys you get from Halloween, so it'll be coming up soon, along with another item you want to be trying to pick up during Halloween too, um, or at least the price will drop a lot. These guys are also super cheap, uh, there seems to be a lot less of them than usual, but that's not such a problem. So sharpening skulls, um, these dudes just give you plus 30% extra magic find and 10% experience from kills. Obviously if you revive an ally um, you gain feline fury which just gives you a small increase in attributes and also uh, gives you the black character look uh, like the polyluminescent one uh, the, the little upgrade slot that you get from Halloween that you put into the gems. Same effect. It's a bit annoying sometimes, kind of gets on my nerves, but it's, it's an extra thing. Very, you can also get pumpkin oil and things like that. Uh, so Sharpening skulls, they're the ones that I use, they're the ones I prefer. Uh, I believe the pumpkin oil gives you condition damage. If I check that quickly. Uh, flask pumpkin oil. Reviving. Uh, increases power, toughness and vitality. Okay, so that might be a little bit better, but they're a little bit more expensive. So that's completely up to you and what you want to want to choose. This one here, these two here, are the cheapest. So on top of that, uh, oh, these these guys work for both PvE and World vs. World. Uh, should probably mention that. Uh, the next thing is you can see down here that I've got celebration bonus. Uh, this one is from a birthday booster. I've got some here on me and I've got some more in my bank because I've got a lot of characters that are quite old. Um, that's, yes, uh, using one of those gives you a whole day with a 100% boost to magic find, world versus world rank, experience from kills and gold from kills, plus 10% bonus to PvP reward track progress. Uh, the 10% isn't really that useful, however the 100% bonus to magic find and most importantly world versus world rank is extremely nice and also gold from kills, an extra 100% is pretty good. Though 100% of nothing is still nothing. So yeah, you get those obviously when your character becomes a year old, um, I think even this character is a year old. Uh, it's probably my least played one. Yeah, it is. 63 hours, over 369 days. Yeah, so it was the other day that this one uh, did, turned turned the big one. Uh, but I've got others that are like four years old now, so I regularly get these. Uh, but you can use these ones. These ones stack with... Um, where is it? On your achievements, your daily login rewards, you'll get bags of celebration. Those boosters there are exactly the same, however, they are only for an hour. You can also buy the celebration boosters from Laureate vendors, which I will show you right now. Alright, so I'm here at the uh, the Laurel vendor. There's one in every major city um, and also every kind of uh, exclusive club place like Noble's Folly or the Lava Lounge or the airship I believe has got one too. Um, yeah you just speak to this guy. Uh, the easiest one to get to is probably the one in Lion's Arch to be honest because uh, it's right next to a, a waypoint. But anyway yeah you can see here you get 
Uh, you can buy all of the experience boosters and everything else here. Uh, obviously these cost you laurels, so it's really down to whether or not you want to waste laurels on an experience booster or whatever. Well, actually no, the experience booster is pretty good. Uh, though there's item booster like, like this one. Um, that gives you magic find, and then there's just a coin booster here, which is not so great. Uh, the other thing that you should also um, re save up your laurels before you buy any of this rubbish is... Where are they? Uh, looking for the enrichments. Yeah, there they are. Uh, so if you go onto the second tab, the ascended gear, uh, for the laurel vendor, you'll see here you can get various enrichments. And these little little dudes can cost quite a bit actually. Guild, what's that? Twenty percent gold from monsters is twenty, and same it magic find. So you're going to need twenty laurels. You can buy yourself one of these, or if you want, you can get twenty percent experience from kills or fifteen percent karma. Um, ignore these ones; these are all for uh, a different slot. These are infusions, uh, but the enrichments all go into your necklace. I currently got an unused enrichment slot here, however I do have two magic find amulets and one magic uh, experience boosting amulet. Really really helpful. Um, the extra 20% experience really helped when Heart of Thorns was out and also from farming uh, masteries. My, my suggestion is uh, get your laurels, log in every day if you can. Uh, it takes literally two seconds to click through two menus, that's what I tend to do. Um, you don't need to do the daily or anything else, and then it will just tick up, and then you get your laurels that way. So it's every second day of the week, uh, plus uh, two once every fortnight, and then you can take a big chest of laurels from the chest of laurel, uh, loyalty, which is the best one to take, unless of course you're after Ascended Materials. But again, I would still take the laurels. Another thing I need to go through and show you is the fireworks. I don't have any on this character but I can quickly buy some and show you. So if we go into the Black Lion Trading Company, Lucky Drake Tails. So there are loads of these little dudes, uh, Lucky Drake Tails, any of the lunar fireworks except for the actual lunar fireworks but I don't think you can get them in game anymore but I've still got some, some old characters. Um, as you can see it gives you an XP boost here. Uh, for five minutes every time what you use one plus 10 magic finds plus five percent bonus experience again if you're farming experience and things like that uh, then these dudes are really good they stack up to a duration of two hours they're not too much of a pain to use so if I buy uh, these five Always here I will show customers. you uh, it just becomes like a, a an item kit or a bundle as you can see just do that uh, Pretty simple, just click through, like so. And you'll see now that I've got the Rooster's Gift, which gives me 10% magic find. Okay, right, so you can see now, currently, uh, I've got 334% magic find. Uh, ignore, if you take 110% out from my boosters, you'll see I've got 224, which it should tell me here. Yeah, I've got 224, and in my equipment you can see I have that much magic find. Alright, so I had to quickly swap on to a different character to find some um, other bits and bobs to show you. Uh, mainly the fact of uh, the enrichments. Yeah. So this is my experience one, um, this distinguished circle of logic. Uh, I've got a Baradin family crest here that I tend to use more so for world versus world because um, my other magic find one uh, other two magic finds are both PvE related, which is Jura's Duel, uh, which is Vipers, uh, no, Sinister, sorry, and um, another distinguished Circle of Logic, which of course is Berserker. So it's the extra magic find, I'll equip it now, uh, just to boost up my uh, magic find. Um, I will eat some of the food and then we will take a look at these boosters. So this is a celebration booster that you get from login rewards and also the same as the one that you get from the Laurel Merchant. Uh, as you can see it's exactly the same, it's a celebration bonus, it's an hour, it's 100% boost to magic, find, world vs world rank, experience and gold, as well as 10% to PvP reward trucks.
Uh, there are experience boosters here. Uh, I would kind of stay away from these ones. You can melt them down, which I will show you how to do later. Um, and when you do, you get different ones. Uh, so for example, I've got a strength booster here. When I melt them down, it turns them into two enchanted combat boosts. From these, I can pick any of these, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, and the same happens for the, the, the they're not blue ones, but like the experience and magic find ones um, all get put into their own uh, set of booster types. Um, I don't currently have any on me, I don't blue. Oh, I do. Uh, I think it's these ones. You can choose between. Uh, these are the better ones, actually. Uh, they're usually half an hour, but those are the ones that you want. As for these ones, they're just kind of wasting space in my bank and have been for years so yeah there's that uh, the experience boosters however are very very good um, I highly recommend these ones because as you can see it's plus 50% reward track gain in PvP and world versus world plus 100% bonus experience kill streaks this and 50% experience in game types so this does work for world versus world uh, if you really, really want to kind of min-max how much experience you're getting and your ranks per hour or whatever, um, yes, you'll want one of these experience boosters, uh, you'll want your celebration boosters, um, and then food doesn't matter because that doesn't actually affect it, as far as I know. Uh, here are the lunar fireworks that I were, was on about earlier uh, that don't give you magic find. Uh, they do, yeah, they do give you a bonus ex to experience. I think they stack with the old one, at least they used to. Yep, they do. So you can see here I've got an extra 10% experience booster uh, alongside the other one, which is the Rooster's Gift, and then there's Drake Tails and also these ones. They've been changed to the Rooster's Gift. It used to be like the Monkey's Gift. It used to be... Uh, what, was shit, what was the one before that? I don't know, but it was a different one before that. Um, and uh, it will be whatever the next Chinese Zodiac year is for the next Chinese Zodiac here. Uh, so there's there's that. Um, and then the kind of main event here. Um, something you can get at Halloween. And the other items. So you know I said about to you about the sharpening skulls at the start of the video? Well, the other items that you want from Halloween is candy corn. Uh, which was almost useless. Um, and then they added this item last Halloween, the candy corn gobbler. You'll often see me, um, probably, if I put more videos out, I will always have tons and tons of boosters. Now, I don't buy this from the gem store, which I'll quickly go through now. Um, and then I'll get back to the candy corn booster, but you can uh, see it in this tab. It's boost, isn't it? Yeah, in boost you can you can buy experience boosters for 100 gems, or a heroic booster for 150, etc. You can buy the large bundles. Uh, they're fine to buy, I suppose. Um, but if you were to buy it with gold, it just, it really isn't worth it. A hundred. It's thirty gold. You buy a stack of this lot, and it is a gold. Less than a gold. And you get way more. So ninety silver, and I usually go through about a stack a day. And it takes forever. Uh, because there's a cooldown, there's an internal cooldown of about four to five seconds, and you just go like this, and you can see I've got an experience booster now, and I'm going to keep doing this, and I will be back with you in just a second. All right, so I've gone through about a hundred candy corn and you can see here um, if I use this one just how much uh, just how many boosters I've got so that's the Rams reward Ah, it was the Ram wasn't it from before of course uh, I got speed boost karma boost damage reduction experience boost magic fine boost uh, that's my uh, oil, the sharpening skull, then foods from the almond berry, peppermint almond berries, the celebration boost, and the rooster's gift. So that's obviously quite a lot of boosters. You can also get the uh, the guild heroes banner. So if you are in a guild, 
Um, they'll often drop banners uh, from Scribe or whatever. Um, I'm not able to do it because I'm not. I don't have permissions, which is a shame. But that's how you'd use those ones. You grab an extra 10% in all areas from that, which is nice. If you're out in PVE, of course, being in a guild is also good. And if your world is doing well in world versus world, because this can also, uh, or at least used to. Um, are a welcome guest. How do I see the things? Oh, well, um, I thought, well, it used to be that you'd uh, get small bonuses to everything from being in World vs. World. Like, as in, if your world was doing well. But it seems to have bugged out, so I have no idea what's going on here. Um, yeah, ignore that, but you get an extra bonus, but there's nothing you can really change about that. No way to min-max that one. Um, and yeah, I believe that's more or less everything. Uh, there, there's a couple of other things like being in certain maps, you'll get bonuses to magic find. Uh, the biggest one is the silver wastes. If you go to the silver wastes, every time you complete an event, you get plus 25%. I, th I think, if I remember correctly, and that stacks up to five times. Plus, if you kill the vine wrath, uh, you get an extra 50% as a separate. Uh, extra bonus to your magic find so that pushes your magic find up to like crazy levels and uh, yeah if you've got stuff to open uh, like your bags that you've been farming from heart of thorns and everything else uh, that are affected by magic find then go into the silver wastes do a bunch of events get the uh, the vine wrath dead and then pop all your boosters everything else and just go ham with opening those bags you'll find that you get a lot more stuff as for, yeah, uh, the rank stuff, um, I've gained 130 ranks in uh, two weeks, fairly casual play. Uh, well, I say casual, most of my time has been in World vs. World, uh, just milling about, but it's literally just been from, you know, going into the Eternal Battlegrounds. If I'd spent all the time in the Edge of the Mists, I'd probably be on 350 to f over 400 by now, using all these boosters. Um, and of course, going through uh, your reward tracks, you get an extra 50% on top of that if you have one of these experience boosters. So you'll be able to do that one 30% uh, quicker, uh, what works out to be. So you get 200 points every tick, you have one of the boosters on, you get 300 points per tick. So you get it that little bit quicker. It's nice. 150%. There you go. One little thing that I forgot to show you guys uh, that you can do is if you come to one of the Black Lion traders in the main city, so Lion's Arch, Divinity's Reach, Black Citadel, Holbrook, uh, Ratasum, or uh, the Grove, um, you can speak to one of these guys, Black Lion traders. Uh, they're always near the trading post people. Uh, I think this guy does it. Uh, no, he doesn't. So, okay, so for example, the one in Lion's Arch is this woman here. I uh, speak to her, and then you can buy Boost Enchantment Powder. I would like to buy some, yes. Uh, so it's kind of costly, it's 10 coins, uh, 10 silver. Just buy one of those, and then you can use it. And then basically, what this will do is it will melt down your boosters. So, boop, like so. And uh, that gave me a reward booster, which is perfect because that's the one that I didn't have. That's the other one, uh, these guys. So I could go boom like that, and then I could choose between experience booster, item booster, another experience, another magic find one, uh, or crafting. Um, this one is like a mix of all three of these, but it's only like 20 minutes, I think. Yep, 20 minutes. Uh, whereas these ones, uh, that one's also 20. Uh, but that gives you the reward track one, so that one's the best, uh, unless you're looking specifically for magic find. But you'll get those um, from melting down experience boosters. So if you've got experience boosters that you don't want and you'd rather have a magic find, then buy the boost enchantment powder. But there's that. Um, on top of that, I also forgot to show you uh, how much magic find I've got just normally if I'm running around world versus world or whatever it is 464% that is not capped out by the way it, because I only have 224 this will go up to a cap of 300 uh, percent at all times and then obviously you've got the 20 from your necklace uh, and then everything else on top here uh, which is quite tasty indeed so yeah 
I hope that's been helpful. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Uh, don't forget to drop any comments you have, if you've got any extra questions. Um, if I've missed anything, then please let me know. Put it into the comment section because it helps not just me, but helps everybody else if they have questions. And again, if you know the answers to them, then please point them in the right direction. Um, obviously, I'll be there and I'll be helping out what I can, uh, where I can, but I can't be everywhere at once. Alright, so thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.